Hai 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 Welcome back with Madam Wan at Cikgu Wan's channel YouTube So today we are going to continue our lesson which is 5.4 Trigonometric Formula At this topic, we will cover three areas which is The first one, compound angle Second one is double angle formula And the third one is solving trigonometric equation by using either compound angle or a double angle formula when given the range is theta is in between 0 until 360 or when the theta is given from negative 180 until 180. Are you ready? If yes, let's get started. Okay, student. I would like you to give extra attention up there Okay, for compound angle formula When given sine A plus B Or cos A plus B Or tangent A plus B Okay, we're gonna solve the example below Using all the three compound angle formula Okay, let's try example one Find the following values without using calculator Okay so if we see here, given is two different uh, trigonometry, which is sine and cos. So which function that have sine and cos? So it is sine A plus B. Okay, if the formula plus, but this time we have minus. Okay, so the formula will be sine A minus B, which is um, in our case we. It is sine 55 minus 25, 30. So sine 30, because the question one without using calculator, so we must use the special angle. If you didn't remember, please check my previous video for special angle 5.2C if I'm not mistaken. We are looking for 30 degrees. So 30 degree is basically 1, set 3, and 2 1 over 2 So that's fi our final answer Okay, second example Given to us Cos 75 degree Cos 15 degree Minus sine 75 Sine 15 So if cos and cos The formula would be A is 75 and B is 15 degree. Okay. So we just plus cos 75 degree plus 15 degree. Okay. So this is equals to cos 90 degree. Okay. So cos 90 will give us zero. Next example, without using calculator, find the value for the following trigonometric function in terms of set. So again, you cannot use your calculator. You must use special angle. Okay, so given that cos 45 degree plus 30 degree. Okay. Rare case, but please bear in mind, don't do that. Eh? This is very wrong. You cannot expand like this. Okay, cos 30 degree. No, never ever expand this. This is not algebra. Okay, this is trigonometry. So trigonometry, for this compound angle, we have formula for cos. Eh, which is cos 45, it gives us cos 45 degree, cos 30 degree. And if plus, it become minus. Minus sine 45 degree sine 30 degree okay we are going to use this uh, triangle to substitute all the values that we want okay cos 45 is equals to 1 over set 2 cos 30 equals to set 3 over 2 minus 1 over set 2 1 over 2 Okay, now we're multiplying the function. So, set 3 over 2, set 2, minus with 1 over 2, set 2. Minus 1 over 2, set 2. 
have to rationalize them by multiplying with set 2. Okay. Set 3, set 2, minus set 2 over... Okay. This is 2. Set 2 times set 2 will be coming 2. Set 3, set 2 is set 6. Okay. Minus set 2 over 4. This is our final answer. Okay, now we are solving tangent 50 degree without using calculator and give your answer in a third form. I have to use special angle. What is special angle? Special angle, as I mentioned earlier, it's equals to 30, uh, 60 and 45. So we have to think what, what makes 15 degree. So by... By minus 45 with 30 will give us 15. Okay. So this is equivalent to tangent 45 degree minus 30 degree. So bear in mind, do not expand. Eh? We use the formula of uh, compound angle trigonometry, which is tangent A minus tangent B. Okay. So tangent 45. Minus tangent 30 over 1 plus tangent 45 tangent 30. Tangent 45 is basically 1 minus with 1 over set 3 over 1 plus 1, 1 over set 3. Okay. Please solve this equation carefully. So this is basically set 3 minus 1 over set 3 over okay set 3 plus 1 over set 3. Okay, so set 3 and set 3 can be cancelled out. And what we should do if we have a set on the denominator we have to conju conjugate so the conjugate for this function is set 3 minus 1 over set 3 minus 1 okay so this function multiply with this so set 3 times set 3 is 3 minus set 3 minus set 3 plus 1 over so this function gonna multiply with this the conjugate so it give us set sorry set 3 and set 3 will give us 3 minus 1 and then we solve 4 minus 2 set 3 over 2 2 and 2 can be cancelled out so uh, 2 minus set 3 Example 3. Without using calculator, find the values of sine A plus B, cos A minus B and tangent A plus B. When given sine A is negative, so we know that sine is negative at the third and fourth quadrant. And cos B is positive. Positive is at first and fourth quadrant. But the question 1, A and B is in the same quadrant. So we know that both... Uh, a and B is located at the fourth quadrant. Okay. Sign A. So it is negative because it's rotated through a clockwise direction. Okay. We just uh, neglect the negative uh, symbol. Therefore, this another side is 15. Okay. While another one. For cos 3 over 5. So this is B. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and this will give us 4. So, we just substitute our values. Sine A, sine A given in the question. So, negative 8 over 17. Cos B, 3 over 5 from the question. 
Signs bear in mind that 4 over 5 sin B sin is at the 4th quadrant we give as negative. So don't forget to put negative over here yeah. And then cos A cos A is 15 over 17. And we substitute all the values we give as 84 over 85. I really hope that you can find by yourself for cos A minus B and tangent A plus B. Give it a try, yeah? Okay, next example. Given that cos A is equal to negative. So, it says that is at the second quadrant. So, I have draw this at the second quadrant. So, cos A. So, cos is 12 and 13. Okay, so the trigonometric pairs 5, 12, 13. And if here 7 tangent, so for tangent here B. So by using theorem Pythagoras, the pairs is 7, 24, and 25. Okay, so the about if we do cos A minus B this time. Okay, so cos A minus B, cos A is in the question negative 12 over 13, while cos B, so cos at the third quadrant is negative. So 4 over 25 plus with sine A, so sine opposite over 13 plus Sign B, 7 over 25. Okay, please double check that cos B, cos at the third quadrant is negative. Sign A, so sign at the second quadrant is positive, so correct. How about sign B? So sign at the third quadrant is negative as well. So, by pressing calculator, you will get the answer. Now, this time we are dealing with proving type of question. So, given that sine 90 plus A, proof that it is equal to cos A. So, usually we will choose the one that we can work on. So, if we can see on the left hand side, it's a compound angle. So, we'll start from there. So, sine 90 plus A is basically sine 90 cos A plus sine A cos 90. Left hand side. So, this is pi which is 180. This is 2 pi and if 90, we give a 0. So, if 0, this will be cancelled out and it will be equals to cos A. So, proven. Simple, right? Next, proving type of question. So, left hand side must be shown equal to the right hand side. So, left hand side, the compound angle for cos A plus B is equals to so now we separate them. So cos A cos B over sin A sin sin A cos B minus now we cancel out what we can. So cos A over sin is basically cotangent A minus sin A sin A cancel out equals to tangent A minus ten, cotangent A minus tangent B. So shown. Alhamdulillah, finally we are coming to an end. I really hope that you have a deep understanding in this chapter. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more math videos for matriculation and pro university level.
till then bye